Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. And also, y'all. <laughs> I'm back. Courtney is back. Um, and ready for action because y'all were throwing her in. Your mic's not on. Oh, my mic's not on. I'm here to craft today. Um, we are going to be making some now. Christmas tags because Alicia had a baby. She officially had Georgia on Sunday, Sunday. Um, which and was she's perfect. She's so absolutely perfect. cute. Absolutely perfect. So we're so happy for her and her little family that's growing. And today we're here to craft. We are. So today what we're going to be making is something that is going to be very recreatable. Um, it's going to take your gifts from here to the next level. Y'all, I really think that you're going to love these gift tags. They are, we're going to be getting into some design space functions mm -hmm. that we don't use a lot that I really think you all are going to love and you're going to love learning about them if you don't know how to use them. Hopefully we will take your um, skill to the next level. Mm -hmm. So this project is definitely going to be one that I'm going to see. I feel like I'm going to see a lot of recreations of this yes, project. Yes, I'm hoping so. And they're great to make in bulk. So like you can start now and just make a bunch of them so that when it comes time for you to wrap your Christmas presents, you just have a pile of tags that you can grab from and write the person's name on. Right. And it, it they just look so professional. Yeah. They're so, so good. So with all of that being said, there are a couple things that I do want to talk about, and I feel like we've been talking about it for a couple weeks now, but the time is growing closer. Today, we're not actually doing a sublimation craft, but it is getting closer and closer for that price increase. Sadie has pinned that comment to the top, but there is also something else that I want you all, if you're not into sublimation, um, maybe you don't want to jump in on that. We have another offer for you guys and I want to make sure that Sadie has the link for the um, training, the $27 course that we did. So we had, Tanner had a training on Saturday. Y'all, if you were not there, you missed out. That was one of the best trainings that I feel like Tanner has done in a very long time. Um, we are still offering that at $27 if you want to jump in and re-watch that training. Obviously, it's not going to be live, but I t I'm telling you, and I know we have some people in the comments mm -hmm. that were there on Saturday that can attest to how good that training was. And it wasn't just about, it was a lot of like personal growth, motivation, mm -hmm. like helping you get... Coaching at the end. Yes. And it's broken up into little sections so you can watch them out of order or... Yes. Watch so them it in was order like, and just know what you're going to, what you can expect at what point. It wasn't intended for it to be a three-hour yeah. training. No, I was upstairs and he was in the basement. And I'm like, what is he doing? Yes. Around the one and a half hour mark. I'm like, okay, like I can, I can figure out that he would go over. But like... Two hours rolled around. I'm like, what is going on down there? Two and a half hours. He's still going. I'm like, I'm Three getting worried. I logged hours. on to see if he was okay. Yes, but it was such. It so because it was so long. If you didn't jump in with that twenty-seven dollars, you can still do that now. And like Courtney said, you can rewatch that. And we have broken it up into segments. So there's like a 20 minute segment, another 30 minute segment, and it's all something that you can go back and rewatch, watch again if you need a little bit more motivation. So definitely, um, if you're wanting, I, if, honestly, if you just want some good life coaching, that's a good one for $27. <laughs> yeah. It was for sure worth it. So Sadie has dropped that link for you all. If that's something that you think you would like, definitely click that. Um, Beth said that coaching helped me a lot. Deb said, yes, That's I watched awesome. it and I want, and I want to rewatch it. It was great. So yeah, y'all, it was one of the best ones. Tara says it was amazing. Even as a seasoned seller, I had many takeaways. Very impressive training. He awesome. brought out his A game with that one. And even if you're not a seller, like I said, it made me want to start doing, not even selling. I don't sell, but it made me want to... I don't know, get out start and something. do something, start something. So if you're in a crafting like slump, 
it would be a great one to watch to get you out of a craft, like any kind of slump, really. So, with that being said, are we ready to start crafting? I'm ready. If uh, you're Courtney's ready. ready. Courtney's <laughs> always ready. Okay, I guess we'll just go ahead and jump in. I will be over here in the comments if okay. you all have any questions. And I'll pop so. over here. All right, people, I'm so excited to be here. Let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be making today. Um, let's go on the overhead so they can probably see the details. Look how cute. Alicia actually made these before she left, but I'm going to make them with you today. They are super fun and easy. We've got the Ashley Falco or Celebration Warehouse red glitter, which really gives it a pop. Um, and then this um, craft card stock is also from Celebration Warehouse. So super fun. And you can see that it's got like a couple steps, but not too many because we're going to do it all together. So, I think that red Ashley Falco, that red glitter is it's one of gorgeous. my favorites of hers yes. because it has so much dimension to yeah. it. Yeah, It's like a dark, it's dark in some lights and brighter in others. I know. It, I just love it. So let's head over to Design Space and I'll show you the cut files that we're going to start with here today. They are all linked down below. So this is our rounded gift tag, which will be the base. And then we have these pine trees, a snowflake, and a reindeer. I think I'm just going to do one or maybe two with you today because it's all the same basic um, Oh gosh, what do you call Principal. it? Like principles, same process that to make each one. So we'll go ahead and start with the snowflake. And if you guys want to see another one, we can definitely go ahead and do that. So my question, Courtney, if yes. you wanted to recreate this with anything, birthday, oh, of course, yes, yes, whatever, you can do this for any, any kind of time. File. Yeah, different Christmas files, other holiday files, birthday files, butterflies, whatever you want. I will say that it's better for your image to be like solid instead of having like if he had eyes and a mouth and different kind of like features on him, it wouldn't look as good. Okay. However, if you have like a two part image, like say the trunk was separate from the trees here, that would be fine because the offset will help you there. So just wanted to mention that. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with our tag and our snowflake. And what we're going to do is kind of, well, let's change the color. Let's make this maybe a blue and bring it to the front. So now we're just arranging this on the tag. And so where it is blue is actually going to be cut out. So I'm trying to envision what this might look like. And I'm going to, I want it to overhang a little bit on each side. So I'm thinking maybe less like, oh, it's like bouncing for me. Okay, that looks good. So it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. We can change it too. So with just the snowflake selected, I'm going to go up to offset. And this 0 0.25 makes it really big. I'm going to scale it down, but I don't have an exact number in mind, just kind of more how I want it to look. So I'm thinking something like this would look good. And then I'm going to click apply. So you can start to see more of what we're working with here. So then in your layers panel, you're going to take that offset that you just made. And while I'm holding down shift, I'm going to grab the gift tag too. And I'm going to go down to our combine function. So these are relatively new. They used to just have weld. But now we have weld, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. So I want to go ahead and either weld or unite these. Unite is less permanent than weld, so I'm just going to go ahead and do unite here for this one. And then I'm left with this black shape, which I'm going to, oh, you know what? I'm going to undo it because I think when you unite and not weld, you can't contour. And I want to contour out this little white spot here. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go up to you combine and go to weld. So then when I click on this weld result, see now this contour option pops up. 
and I can go ahead and click this so that it's one solid shape and it's not going to cut that out, which is what I want for my tag. So then this is on the front and it looks like our snowflake is gone, but you can still see the snowflake here. So, whoa, that was weird. Um, you can go ahead and send this to the back and your snowflake is going to pop back up. Now, I'm going to take this, oh, I did something weird. Okay, that was strange. Send to the back, okay. Somehow I grouped the snowflake with the trees. Now I'm going to take the snowflake and my weld result, select. I need to uh, watch comments, I wasn't watching them. Oh. Are you kind of watching too? To yeah, see no, if I'm there's watching. Any questions? Okay. So with both of these elements selected here, I'm going to go to combine and I'm going to go to subtract. So that cuts that blue snowflake out of that design. And then I want to go ahead and add an offset to this too. So I'm looking, that looks okay. I kind of want to increase it just a little bit more, but oh, not that much. Let's see. Let's do that. Click apply and now I need to contour these out. So click hide all contours and it'll just leave the basic shape behind it. Now I need to change some colors here. So let's go ahead and change this offset that we made to red. Okay, that looks good. And then I just like to use the colors that I'm kind of using so I can get a um, glimpse of what it's gonna look like. Why is it not letting me change the color? Okay. Advance. I'm just going to like lighten it. There you go. So that is what our finished design is going to look like. However, if you want holes in yours, you can go ahead and add a circle. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see this better. Can so, you tell us the sizes? I was yeah. just going to say that while she, before she jumps into this, we'll tell you the sizes. What the best way to do it? I feel like, and Courtney can correct me if you think I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to design, to design something when it's really large and then size it down yes, when I'm as, getting ready to cut. Especially with an offset, because then you have like more wiggle room. Yes, and you don't have to get into like point zero zero something, which kind of irritates me sometimes. So right. I'm going ahead and making this. So let's go over some of the sizes. I just generally um, think a tag should be about three by four or so. And I might size this down actually when I go to cut it because it's gonna be like, let's see, the whole total dimensions of this red part is five inches. I feel like that's pretty big for a tag. I mean, if you have a really big gift, that might be fine. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and work with this circle. Design space is being like jumpy. It's moving my stuff for me. Okay. So. I feel like there's been a lot of people in the Facebook group has been talking about having issues with design space. I don't know if they're fixing to roll out another update or what's happening, but. Yeah. Okay, so I have my circle here and I'm gonna go ahead and put an offset on this. But I'm trying to see, maybe. See, I'm, I'm kind of working on a smaller scale and so it needs like, less here, but you're gonna have to go in, maybe four, play around with it until it looks good. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna click apply there. And now it's gonna be kind of confusing, but I need to slice the larger circle out of the brown. Or I say slice, because that's just what I'm used to, but I'm actually going to subtract it. So just like that. And then this smaller circle, you grab it from your layers panel is the easiest because all these layers are like on top of each other. I gather from the chat that Alicia had her baby. Yes, Alicia yes. had her baby. Alicia did have Georgia. She had her on Sunday. Sunday morning. Yes. Subtract. We've also have people saying yes, that design space has been very glitchy and right. they've been having lots of issues. So it's not just us. Thank goodness. Okay, there we go. So I sliced or I subtracted that smaller circle out from the bottom red layer and then I'm going to send it to the back and see it's like being jumpy. 
Okay, anyways, this is what our final tag is going to look like before we add our words. So I'm going to go ahead and add some text on here in our sketch font, affirmation sketch. And I'm just going to... I and probably spelled that wrong. This is one of my favorite features for these tags is the fact that you can go ahead and have it written on there like to and from and then mass yeah. produce them and fill yes. them out later. Or you could say to and leave it blank and then from the Bell family. Right. And have a yeah, bunch of them Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Mm -hmm. But if you were like making it for a specific person and you don't like your handwriting, you could go ahead and write to Lauren here. Yeah. So Deb says, I don't understand that about the whole. Can you please say what the purpose and do it again? So the purpose yeah. was we still wanted to see that red glitter on you kind of see how we have the offset of the red. We didn't want it to be one circle all the way through. We still wanted to be able to see a little bit of the red through, through that. So that's why we had the circle, did an offset, cut the offset out of the um, out of the brown layer and then the smaller circle out of the red. That way you can see that red kind of peekaboo through where, right. where the hole is. So I'm just playing with my text a little bit. I think I'm going to increase the line space just to give me a little bit more room for that name when I'm writing it, depending on if they've got a long name or if I want to add their last name too. And then I can go up. This is a basic cut right now, so you need to change that to draw. And there is our design, but we're not done yet. We need to take the pen function and attach it to the base that you want it to write on. Otherwise, it's going to be a different place on the mat. So go ahead and select those and go to attach. Now, I'm probably going to go ahead and design some more with you just so I can kind of slow it down and um, uh, do it with you again if you need a refresher. So, I'm, But I want to show you now how, if we hide these, what it's going to look like on our mat. So here we have what our red cutout, which is for the back, and then we have our craft cardstock with the words on it. And when you make this in bulk, you can go ahead and how many do you think will fit on here? You think seven? I'm thinking six, but yeah, only six will fit. Mm -hmm. So down to six and apply. And you can make six of these on your two mats. So pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and unhide our elements here so we can go and make another one. They're not unhiding. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make the Christmas tree one. I need to go back and add my tag because I already used the tag that I had. All right, I'm going to make the height here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't resize this. That's why it could only make That's six. That's why you could only make six. Okay. Yeah. So I was going to say, I wish I could have made more than six on two sheets of paper. Yeah, so we need to resize those. Ah. Hello? Design space is being very, very glitchy. Great. So I'll just select these and arrange, align centered them. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> that looks good. It really doesn't matter. You glue it on there anyway. So. Right. All right, let's go ahead and design another one and then we'll size them down and go ahead and make them. All right, so I like what this, uh, what Deb said about the hole. So I might go ahead and do that on this one. Okay. So I'm gonna make this height 3.75 because I think that will get the tag to be about four inches or so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a hole. That way, I can also use this center function and center the hole because I wasn't able to center the hole last time because the snowflake peeks out on one side right. where it would have made it uneven. Okay, so I'm zooming in so I can see what I'm doing a little better. I want this hole a little bit smaller. That seems proportionate. Lorraine is saying that she can't get uh, undo to work on Design Space anymore, which is what Great. you were having issues Yeah, I wasn't with. able to do that either, so. Great, who needs to take away their mistakes? 
All right, let's go ahead and go up to a line center. That way our hole is, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, it let me undo it. Okay, selecting those in a line center horizontally. See, it was a little bit off center. Now it won't, we don't have to worry about that. So with the, both of these selected, go to combine and subtract. Yay, all right. Now let's go ahead and size our trees. I'm gonna make them a different color, this green color, and bring them to the front. I'm gonna put these at the bottom. So, like this. I think, I that think that'll be good. super cute. Yeah, and then, I actually might make it a little bit smaller. Then let's go ahead and select these and make an offset for them. That is smaller. I think that looks good. Oops, it went away. That was not a design space issue. That was me misclicking. <laughs> While she's doing that, um, she is adding an offset. Sadie has dropped the links to a couple different things that we've got going on right now. So if you are wanting to jump in, I know that um, this is not a sublimation project, but if you're wanting to jump into the sublimation world, definitely need to do that now because we are changing the price. We're upping the price to this on October the 9th. If you jump in on the lower price now, you get everything that we're gonna update, um, plus everything that we already have at this low price. So just so you guys know. Awesome. So now with my offset and my tag function, I'm going to go ahead to the bottom and click combine weld or unite. I don't think so I need you a said contour. Not, so you said that there's not a contour, contour portion yeah. on unite. Right. right. And so for this shape, I don't need it. So I could unite it, but I'll just weld it because that's what I did last time. So then I have this and I'm gonna send it to the back. I'll select both of these with the trees and the tag and go up to combine, subtract. So then it cuts those trees out. And then I want a little bit of an offset on this. You wouldn't have to. I think it would be cute to have just this, but I really like the um, glitter Solid popping through too. It. Yeah. So with this, that looks good to me. I wish the hole was a little bit bigger. So I think I'll slice the hole myself, but okay. So then we'll click apply and this looks weird because we need to contour out these trees. So click the offset and then go to contour and click. We're just gonna get rid of these three. We'll leave that hole. Then I'm gonna change the color so I can see it better. It's red. And then I'm just gonna increase the size of this hole, which the only way to do it is add a circle and subtract it from that layer. But you can use the black layer to help you center it. If you can center it in the black layer. Oh, Design Space might not let me. It's like it's snapping. It's snapping, yes. And Design Space used to never snap. And I don't like that function. Yeah, some like um, programs do like snap to a... A grid. Yeah. I think I might be able to center it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and combine, subtract this. It'll bring that to the front, but you can send it to the back. And then I'll change this color so that we can see our text better. But look, that is so cute. cute. I think I like this one way better than the snowflake, honestly, but I, I like do. it. So let's see, let's write Merry Christmas. This needs a little work. We're gonna do a kerning lesson, I guess, here. Um, well, we need to spell Christmas yeah, first. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Chitmas. <laughs> Is that right now? No, there's still an R in it. Oh. <laughs> C-H-R. <laughs> Guys, do not come to me for spelling. I should at least know how to spell my savior's name, though. But. No, okay. still not right. 
C H R I S. Guys, I'm nervous about this live, okay? It's That's okay. What it is. You're just getting back in the swing of things. Yes. It's all good. All right. I'm going to decrease that line space and then see who's judging me in the comments. Nobody is judging you in the comments. <laughs> Okay, this definitely needs to be manually kerned here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bring it off the tag and then ungroup them to letters. We're going to zoom in and we're going to move these letters around. Okay, so this is a very, very important lesson that I feel like everybody needs a refresher yes. on. Because kerning your fonts, I have seen some projects here recently where mm. fonts have not been kerned, and we really need to kern script fonts. Yeah, so see this Mary? I moved this M so it touched nicely, this E, but this Y is detached from the R. This is just the way that some fonts load in Design Space. In most other programs, they like type out better originally. But for some reason, I think Design Space like wants you to use Cricut fonts only or Access fonts. But we don't need to do that because we know how to do this. So we're just moving them so that they touch and they look how you would write them if you were writing in cursive. See this eye? It's like way off. That needs to go up there. The S can go here. I'm not going to be able to kern it as much as I usually can because of that snapping feature. Is it still, is it snapping with the oh, letters too? Yeah, a little bit. Can you move it with the, with your keyboard? Yeah. Well, let's see. I think it just might move too much. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. Okay. Stay with this design space. Woo. See? <laughs> oh, okay, it did move it. Okay, now I'm going to take this Mary and move it over here. I would almost, good? just my personal opinion, yeah. take that C and move it down yeah. to where it connects with the H like that. Yeah, 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 right. That oh, one, yeah. That looks way better. Oh, okay. yeah. I actually, I'm going to see what it looks like to have this M not attached. What do you think? I kind of like it not attached. Me or too. either that or where it connects with the E. Nope, I don't like that. Yeah. I like it not attached. I think the M looks really good not attached. But okay. I do like it down there I where like it was it at. Here. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach them. I'm going to move them onto here. Merry Christmas. And then you could write the person's name under it. But you need to, with your text selected, go up and make it a pen function. And then with that pen function selected and your whatever you want it to write on, you're going to go to attach. That way it will write on that part of the tag. So now let's size this to four inches high and see how many of these we can put on the mat. I guess we can put this one on there too and go make it four. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Look. We can fit a lot. Yeah. Do you think eight? At least, if not oh, oh, ten. Okay, now I'm gonna try nine. No. One, three, four, five, six. Oh. Wait, it's not oh well it, what's doing eight of uh, or eight nine of each. each right? Yeah. So let me go down to four. Four. And see. But that's not. Oh, that's four of each. Five of each is two mats. That could go on the that other mat. That could go. Also, something's not attached, right? Oh, really? Because you have a black mat. That, I think, is the reindeer oh, that okay. I was going to use on a different tag. Okay, perfect. So we just need to take this and move it ourselves. Yeah. So now we're getting one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten tags. Yep. Which is way better. I feel better about that. So I'm going to 
check this mat. And you could probably squeeze a few more on there, but I think oh, this yeah. is what we're going to do today. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare my mat. Move these out of the way. Also, this is a great time. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and drop, the, drop them in the comments for us. We would love to answer any and all questions you all have. Um, and while she's preparing her mat, if you all did not jump in on the $27 workshop that Tanner hosted on Saturday, we are still offering that. It's not a live workshop, but y'all, that workshop is one that was absolutely it was i was on he was on fire on saturday and we've been able to take what he taught break it down into smaller um classes i guess you could say um like four or five different small classes that you all can take and it is oh it is so inspiring definitely check that out with the link that sadie just dropped all right, I was just checking because I forgot that Celebration Warehouse paper is not actually exactly 12 by 12. It's like 11.75 or something. So I was just making sure that it didn't, I wasn't going to cut off any of my shapes, but I'm good to go there. So I'm going to browse materials for glitter cardstock. Tanya says she just got the workshop. I cannot wait to hear your review because I'm, I think it's going to be, it's so good. Um, Deb said she did have a question about the sublimation course. You purchased it a while ago. Anyone who has ever purchased a sublimation course gets all of the updates and all of the new files. You, yes, you're correct. Um, can you go over making the small hole on the tag? So, um, what she did is she just created the hole and then excluded that circle out of the file. If you are having questions, we can't go back and go over it right now. Because the cricket's cutting. Because so the cricket's cutting. But you can go back and um, you can, once we're done, you can go back and rewatch re like it, multiple yeah. times. You're just going to use a circle and place it where you want your hole to go. And then select it and the shape behind it. And then go to combine, subtract. So. Mary said the workshop was way, was worth more than the $27 that you pay. I I tend to agree. Like it was, it was that good. It really yeah. was. So I'm. Um, I definitely think that's one that you all. It's not expensive, but it's one of those that if you really go into it and you, it's it's going to set. It's going to light a fire under you for sure. Also, can we talk yeah. about how well this cardstock, this glitter oh. cardstock cuts? And it, it, it is really, truly shed free. Yes. We've never had one fleck of glitter come off of this cardstock, and we use it all the time. Please tell us about the paper choice you use for the glitter and the craft paper, too. Yes, Deb, they are linked in the description of the video, and we are using Celebration Warehouse, which they have a sale going on for the next three days. Yes. It's a stock up sale, and I don't know the exact discount or prices off the top of my head, but check them out now, and they ship super fast. It's a company run by our good friend Ashley Falco, and, and her I'm, husband does all of the shipping. I'm pretty sure you can use code MGL for another N little an bit of a additional like 10% or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so definitely use the code MGL and see if it stacks with that stock up sale. Last time we did it, it worked, so. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I love all the programs that you have. Good, Beth, we love hosting programs for you all. Um, price for the red is... $6? No. $6 for the red. Maybe that's what she was trying to say. Yeah. It could, yeah. It's actually, it's... Usually the glitter is $7 for a pack of 10 Let me look. I'm like looking that. on the website right now for the glitter cardstock, which the, um, that went away. Um, it's $1.40 right now, um, $6 for a 10 pack. So it's, it comes out to about, I think it's like $1.40 a sheet, but it's definitely worth it. $6 no. for the 10-pack. That can't be $1.40 per sheet. Then. It is. 
But see, ten sheets. I know it would be. It's like she. I think she does it because she wants you to buy in packs of ten. But you can buy a single sheet for a dollar okay. forty. Oh. But the ten pack is six dollars. Interesting. Yes. I did not know you could buy single sheets. You can I buy a single sheets. I wonder if that's new. I don't know. Huh. Usually seven fifty. Right now it's on sale for six dollars. That's yes. awesome. Yes, I would definitely be stocking up at that price, and it's cutting flawlessly. Yesterday, Lauren and I had a couple um, mishaps. Mishaps, cut mm -hmm. many failed cuts in a row. I'm sure some of you have been there too. And I don't know if it was the cricket or us. Some of it, we had what a dull blade. Uh, so that was yeah, part that of was it. that was a dull blade, and then I tried a different technique for a sign that just didn't work. Blah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. And then you had an issue with, with something being off centered. Yeah. So it, it was, was a little bit of both. It was a mixture of us and a mixture of the cricket. But we've been having fun crafting. So. Oh, for sure. So I'm. Flipping my mat over and like peeling the tags off this way one by one because then you'll have less curling than if you try to peel the paper right off the mat. It's a great little hack. There we go. So look at all of these tags. I'm going to kind of sort them into two piles for which one gets the trees and which ones need snowflakes. Did you, do you have your Cricut pen in here? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. I do want to go ahead and peel these circles off so our next cut goes smoothly. You could get under the blade and mess it up. Also, if you've ever wondered what to use the spatula for, this right here is one of the main reasons I use the spatula. Yeah. Okay. Is getting those extra pieces of cardstock off of my mat. Mm -hmm. They can be annoying sometimes. All right, so we got that. I got this fresh sheet of craft cardstock. And my brayer's right here. Just for good measure. I love using a fresh mat, and this is a fresh mat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good to know. The craft cardstock is 12 by 12. The glitter The glitter is, is like 11.75 or 11 and a half by 11 and a half. But the regular cardstock from is Celebration Warehouse is, there is 12 by 12. Right. Okay, so I'm going over to my Cricut and I'm putting my pen in clamp A. It clicked in, good to go. All right, and we use our medium cardstock setting to cut this. Now, this one is going to take a little bit longer to do because writing. it is going through and writing on the uh, cardstock. Maybe stock. not that much longer because I saw that it like double, triple cut on the glitter. It, went, it kept going over it, which I huh. think it'll only do one pass on the... Oh, I need... A, Does anybody have any questions so far? Yes, we because are Because I would love to be able to answer those. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about this project right now. If you all have any other questions while we're here, feel free to ask those. Um, once again, everything that we are creating today is Makers Gonna Learn files. Mm -hmm. If you are not a Makers Gonna Learn member, I'm going to have Sadie drop our dollar deal as well for those if you are wanting to try out Makers Gonna Learn, you um, maybe just want to get your feet wet, you can try us out. It's like a trial membership, $1 for seven days, plus you get 20 free downloads. So if you wanted to recreate these um, tags, you could do that with your downloads. So your 20 download downloads include um, any font, any file, anything like that. So if you are have been a lurker here on our channel and you kind of want to test out MGL, definitely pick, like definitely get that dollar membership or dollar trial membership because I think that 
once you get in there and you look around, it's definitely going to be your you're gonna be hooked. Yes, you're it's gonna a be great hooked. One. Um, yes, please go over the size of the reindeer, snowflakes, and the trees. So, Kathy, there's not a specific size that we use. What you are going to want to do is if you are working in design space, like we said earlier, we really like to make our, when we're designing, we make our files pretty large. Um, and then the sizing is gonna be a personal preference. So the trees, Courtney sized them to where they just go across the bottom of the tag. Um, so they're gonna be sized a little bit, the width is gonna be smaller than the tag. And then the snowflake, you're just gonna size it based on your personal preference, how large you want it to be, placement, all of this other stuff, and then you will um, slice that, or you'll add an offset and then slice out the snowflake reindeer trees out of that. Um, so the sizing doesn't, I don't want y'all to get hung up on sizing. It's Just really it gonna look, be. Make it look proportionate, make it look pleasing to your eye, make sure there's still room for the text, and you should be good to go. Yes. So, and then once you have everything designed, designed then you're going to worry about the size and you're going to make it like a three inch tall tag or a four yeah, inch tall I did tag. Four inches. So let's give it a little size comparison. This is four and Alicia did make hers. I feel like they're pretty oversized. So about five inches tall in Alicia's yeah. examples. But yeah, whatever you want. I think honestly it could be smaller than four inches. I've seen gift tags. Like the ones they sell at the store, they're not always this big. Some, sometimes they're three inches. So. Megan said, I just ordered a ton of glitter cardstock. Yes, y'all need to go order a ton of glitter cardstock too. Megan, did you use the MGL code and did it stack on top of the sale? Oh, good question. I would love to know. We would love to know. We might need to. I feel like we've been stocking up for like every week. So. I know. Every time we see it's on sale, like we... More cardstock, more <laughs> cardstock. But we've been doing a lot of paper projects here recently, which I'm not mad about. Yeah. And we've been like, if we need one color, then we want to add more to our cart so we get free shipping. So we're like, what other colors do we need? So we've got a lot at this point. It didn't work for Karen. Okay. Well, the sale is plenty of a discount, I think. Who said it didn't? Oh, Karen, Karen. said it didn't work for me. Yeah. I did not. I didn't have a place to enter a code. Gotcha. Hmm. Let me see. Let me, I'm just going to add some to cart and then go to my cart and see. Is it writing? Yeah, but it's not like finishing each letter. It's like going on to the next and I guess it's going to go back and finish the huh. letters. At least I hope it goes back. No, it's not. The pen isn't going, isn't touching the paper. What? Shoot. See, I'm telling you guys, this is what was, this was the energy level we had yesterday. Ah! Okay, let's see. Look. What happened? It's a bummer. Since we're gluing these onto the glitter, I'm gonna flip it over and try to fix the pen. So was it doing the pen first before the cuts? Yeah, I was doing the pen first. Okay. So that kind of saved our piece of paper for us. But I and have to see. Just not down in the. But yeah, the tip wasn't touching the paper. It didn't, but I swear it clicked in there. Oh, I think it wasn't clicked in. Okay, we're going to try this again. Sorry, guys. That is weird. There's not a place for a code, but I swear there was before. I might need to ask her. Maybe it's just during the sale. Oh, it's Maybe so. I don't know. Maybe since we're on a live, I'm going to do less. Do like a couple. Okay. And then I'll finish. That's them fine. Off the live so everyone doesn't have to wait for 10 things to write. Let's do two. Okay. 
Karen said I tried to put it in. I did. I went in there and tried putting it in the gift card space as well, and it didn't work for me. But I swear, last time there was a place for a discount code. But I don't know. Um, will the glitter cardstock adhere to wood sheets cut for the largest layer of tags? So yes, if you wanted to do the largest layer of the tag or the like the background of the tag which is what we cut out of glitter cardstock. If you wanted to cut it out of like the wood veneer, mm -hmm. if you wanted to have like bougie tags, <laughs> those would be some fancy that, Those tags. would be some fancy tags. I want to get a gift from you. And yes, you the glitter cardstock would adhere to it. Um, I have, now I've had a few issues getting other cardstocks to adhere to the glitter, but the glitter should adhere to the wood fine because there's nothing like on the back of the card sock that would yeah. prevent it from adhering. You might just have to use a little thicker of a like when I'm working with this glitter card sock, me personally, I grab the Aileen's tacky glue. Mm. But we've had this conversation here before that Tanner's first um, adhesive that he's going to go for is the ATG gun. Yes. Alicia's adhesive that she's going to go towards is a zig pen. The mm -hmm. adhesive that I use is going to be mm -hmm. Aileen's Tacky Glue. I don't know why. We all just gravitate toward different things, but they are all great adhesive. It's, and there's some other great adhesives that some of our friends have told us about on lives that they really yeah, like. like. Barely. I barely. think that's Ashley's favorite that goes with her, like that she likes to use with her cardstock is yes. Barely Crafts. Yes. And so we have some of that. Good. Um. Well, the glitter cards, okay, we just answered, somebody said, oh, that's a good question. I was making sure we um, addressed that. Um, Jennifer said that pins have been a hit or miss for her recently. Great. Um, it just <laughs> depends, like, it seems to be working now. It's a miss on my machine, but that's also because yeah, my, their clamp, your clamp just my work. clamp doesn't work, and I've not called Cricut yet. Um, Kathy, the code is code MGL, which works sometimes, I guess. Maybe we're thinking when Ashley isn't running a sale at Celebration Warehouse, it would get you 10% off the cardstock. But right now, with her running a sale, it's not. Yeah. She does. She's not going to stack them, which makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have they moved the upload button in Design Space? Not that I know of. There was a recent, like, redesign, so it might look a little bit different, but it's still generally in the same place. I was using it today. Yeah. Um, Jen says on the homepage of their website, it states all card stock on sale, no code needed. So they've probably taken the place for the code off. Yeah. Which makes 100 like, make it makes sense. Um, so if you have a problem with a project and you have to stop in the middle like that, how do you get it to start over? So a lot of times if you're having to stop in the middle of a project, you're, you're not restart. going to be able to start from the spot that you, or you're not going to be able to start over. You, I mean, you can start Usually over. Usually I turn the Cricut off and pull the mat out of the machine. Yeah, it just, it really depends. I'll hit the pause Show button. If it's having issues, and then nine times out of ten, I just have to go ahead and unload again. Okay. Uh, I don't know what her name is. K C A Moore. I'm gonna look and show you here in a second. Get a new project. Okay. So, say you wanna share the screen. Our upload button is right here above monogram. Doesn't show on her left panel. And then you make can sure go you're ahead in the live version that. and not in a beta version. Yeah. So just wanted to make sure it was there. Yep. Upload. So oh, we are making some little uh, name tags for our live event on Friday in person. Ooh, y'all better get excited. So if you are an Inner Circle member, we are doing an event. It is a live event for any Inner Circle member. Yep, live virtually or live in person, in person. if yep. you're coming to Knoxville. So we're super, super excited about that. Yes. All right, I got some made. Yay! It was a little ambitious to make 10 on a live, so I'll finish my other six later. Let's do this trick.
This mat is fresh and new, but it's stickier than I'm used to. Mm-hmm. I need to use my spatula. The snowflake is delicate. Okay. This is another good use for the spatula to gently pry off your design. I also love the looks of that on the mat, like how it's just stayed like that. Yeah. So, like I was saying, this alone, I feel like, could be a, be a tag, tag on its own. And if I'm being honest, this is how we originally designed the project. And then at the last minute, we were like, uh, that looks better on glitter. Yeah. So, either way, I'm going to add some of Tanner's go-to ATG and then a little bit of Alicia's go-to as well on the smaller parts. Deb, yes, you will get a link for the virtual in, our, in your email. Um, I understand not being able to come here, but you, you will get a link in your email for the live um, event. Yes. All right. So here is the snowflake. I'm just centering it on that hole. Oh, and I didn't make it. So the ribbon will cover it. Okay, then on the Christmas trees, I'm putting some of this on the smaller little parts at the bottom. So my go-to, if it's wider than an ATG gun, I'm going to use an ATG gun. And if it's not, then I'm going to use a Zig 2 egg loop pen. Nobody else goes for the aliens except for no. me. I don't know why it's just been, I mean, I guess it's because it's an OG for me. Like I even used it when I, like we would use it scrapbooking when I was little. Like that's mm -hmm. what we always used. Right. Did Although you use to scrapbook the, when you were little? Oh yeah. Did your mom, was My your mom, mom was a scrapbooker? My mom was a huge scrapbooker. No we had like the, um, we still have a tub full of so many of those hand punch like dies. Yeah. That they would sell at Hobby Lobby. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's actually what my mom bought our first Cricut with, although we never used it. Um, she, you know, she got her tax return. She was in her uh, scrapbooking, scrapbooking era. era. They Did come you know out with the, um, I guess it's the expressions, the Cricut, like the one with the cartridges. Yes, expression. Mm -hmm. My mom got me into Cricuting because she was a scrapbooker. And my grandfather saw a commercial for a slice on TV, and it was like this thing, and you would set it on top of your paper. There was no mat, I don't think. And then you would push a button at the top, and it would cut out. And then you would move it onto a different piece of paper. Really? Yeah. And so he's like, I think you guys would like this. And so we started looking at it, and then we're like, I think we'd like the cricket better. So we ended up getting crickets. Uh-huh. Yep, but we we started with a small one, the six inch one. What was it called? Cricket Cuddlebug? No, that's the crank one. Okay. Um, gosh, Cricket Mini? I don't cricket. know. But with that thing, I I, that thing that the Cricket we had sat in the basement, and I don't think it, it oh. did not get used oh. by a single. Oh, me time. and my mama, we wore our crickets out. <laughs> I mean, I just, at the time, like, I was into it, but yeah. I also just didn't have, I was also playing sports and everything else, and I don't know. But here I am now, teaching yeah. people how to use a cricket. All right. Four tags done in no time at all. I think you can see that these would definitely be great to make in bulk and get ahead for the holidays. So, Kathy said, how much do you think you would be able to sell these for? Um, if you were personalizing them, I would obviously sell them in packs of like five or ten, mm -hmm. probably in packs of ten. Um, and I think for a pack of ten, like you could do twenty dollars easy. Wouldn't yeah. you think two dollars for each for I one? I mean, so. or at least a dollar fifty per mm -hmm. tag. Because if you're adding the ribbon and everything else, that's just yeah. my thoughts. But just see what your time take, 
like how much time it would take to make them and how much the supplies cost and I would kind of go from there yeah instead of the other way around so there you go that's what it looks like with the ribbon again a four inch tag and a five inch tag so do whatever size you want there's no right size for any of it I love them. Right, I'm, I'm going to come join you. Yeah, I want to see them close up. Here you go. Oh my gosh, these look like I wish they translated better on screen because they look good on the screen, but they look so much better in person. They look amazing. Yeah. I definitely think Pretty this is, happy. yes, this is a great um, craft to make to sell at like if you're because I know a lot of people go to markets and, markets stuff. and stuff that's coming that up things. for Christmas mm -hmm. stuff I would for sure even me personally knowing how to use a Cricut if I didn't have the time or energy yeah. I would for sure buy a pack of 10 of these for $20 just mm -hmm. to make my presents look that much better yes shoot somebody Yasmin is going to make them with green glitter cardstock for the trees and blue cardstock for the snowflakes oh yes that would be awesome that would be amazing. And you could even charge if you were to, let's say you posted them on a, um, either on in your Etsy shop or if you have like a Facebook page or something and you posted them there, you could even charge like five more dollars for customization. Mm -hmm. Like you would obviously have to make them in bulk that just said Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever. Um, and not personalize them, but you could have people order them, customize, and add five extra dollars for customization, mm -hmm. which would not take you any time at all. Right. So if you all have any other questions, right now is a great time to drop them. Um, yes, if you you don't have to have the Celebration Warehouse glitter card sock, y'all. You can use whatever glitter card sock you have. We were just um, It doesn't have you, to even be glitter card stock. It doesn't have to be glitter card use stock. Use what you have. You, sure. um, you, don't ha you can use just two pieces of plain card stock, and they would still be really, really beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. Deborah said, where did you all get the glitter card stock? We get our glitter card stock from Celebration Warehouse. And they, it's linked, linked down below. Yeah. yeah, and there's a sale going on. So. There is a sale going on right now. You can get a pack of 10 for like $6.00 which is a really, really great price. Um, definitely stock up on a lot of those colors because her glitter cardstock, the colors are great. Mm -hmm. I love them. One thing I will say, if you're getting the white, my favorite white of hers is actually the one that you sublimate on. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it says like sublimation white. That's my favorite white of hers. Like I feel like the glitter, you can see the glitter a lot more. Like the original white is okay, but the new like sublimation, it's not specifically made for sublimation. It's just the one of Happens hers that you too. can color, that you can sublimate on. Mm -hmm. But that's my favorite white of hers. Okay. Um, but if you all don't have any other questions, um, once again, the sales that we've got going on right now, we've talked about sublimation for weeks now, and the reason being is because we want everybody to jump in on that price of one twenty seven. Um, make sure you get that if you're wanting to start sublimating or wanting to learn how to sublimate um, before the price goes up on October 9th because if you jump in now at the 127 you get all the updates for free once they roll out on the 9th. Um, if you want to recreate these tags but you're not an MGL member, we do have the dollar deal going on right now. You can hop in, um, try us out for seven days. Um, for a dollar, you get 20 downloads. You kind of get to look around the site and make sure that we are the right fit for you all. I really think that we will be. So if you are a lurker and you've been around our channel, but you don't really know if you want to jump into membership, try us out for a dollar, 20 free downloads, uh, seven days, you're gonna love it. And then last but not least is if you missed out on Saturday's workshop and you are thinking about selling your crafts this Christmas season, this holiday season, if you have, have are on the fence, definitely check out that workshop. Honestly, if you're not even on the fence about selling, if you just want a good kick in the rear end, 
that workshop was just a really good workshop to help you get out of your own way and get through these artist blocks or whatever you've got going on. It was just a, just a good general workshop. $27, I mean, you can't beat it. We've had somebody say earlier, it was so much more, it was worth so much more than the $27. And I tend to agree, it was amazing. I was there live with them, with you all on Saturday. I'll probably be going back and re-watching it at some point because it was just that good. What time is Friday's event? Um, you, the event is going to start, if you're in person, doors open at nine. If you are going to be joining us virtually, um, teaching is going to start at 10. Um, we're gonna be teaching from 10 to 12.30 with another break and then 1.30 to 3.30 and then another break, and then we're going to 4 to 5.30, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna have three different sessions. I think you all... it ends at five. Okay, yeah, or maybe it's maybe it's um, 1.30 to three, and then 3.30 to five. That I think that's right. it. Mm -hmm. that, sounds, that sounds even more right. Yeah. Um, and that's all Eastern Standard Time. You all will be getting an email with that very soon if you haven't gotten it already. Um, can we find the replay from Saturday on our dashboard? It will probably be in your My Courses section. If you attended yes. the web or the workshop, then go to that workshop in the Courses section and the replay will be there. Yes. Um, Deb said that's what I used it for, a kick in the pants. Um, <laughs> absolutely, it gave me one too. And I, I, get to, I listen to Tanner talk about stuff like that every single day but it was still just that good even for me being an employee here it was just it was amazing i'm telling you um does anybody else have any other questions that i missed well thank you robin she said the tags are beautiful we are so glad that you're here watching with us and we will tomorrow's wednesday so tomorrow is our regular live time yes tanner and lauren will be going live i assume uh, yes, and so Tuesdays are your days, right? Um, yeah, I'd say so. For right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're wanting to have some more of Courtney, uh, come back and be with us on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. It will be... Uh, I'll try to be here every Tuesday. Either me and Courtney, probably more like me and Courtney, mm -hmm. I would oh, assume. Oh yeah, Tanner's not going to go live with me. You won't see Tanner and I together. So Unless you'll be Lauren's seeing a lot of here. me. You'll be seeing a lot of me. <laughs> and interchanging between me and Tanner and me and Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how it's going to go at least. So, Oh, but we have had such a good time with you guys. We will be back with you tomorrow. Um, also, for those Maker U students, we would normally have our coaching call on Thursday. In case you, for some reason, missed your email, just know that our coaching call has been moved up to tomorrow night at 8 7 p.m., 8 p.m.? I think it's 7. Okay, so coaching call for Maker U students is going to be tomorrow, Wednesday, the 27th, instead of Thursday, the 28th, because we are going to be preparing and getting ready for the event on the 29th. It's at so 7.30. Whatever the email says, I'm not sure. 7, 7.30. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Just know it's Wednesday, not Thursday. Yes. Okay? Um. Yeah. I okay. think that... Uh, I think that would be it. So we will see you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, make sure you come back with us. We'll be live tomorrow at 1.30. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Guys. Thank you.